Hello Bass here, and today I want to show you how a free butter tub lid and a hole punch is going to help you catch way more fish on a buzz bait and a spinner bait. Stay tuned. Spinner baits are a great way to catch fish. Buzz baits are one of my favorite way to catch fish. But sometimes you get a lot of bites and you don't always hook up. That's why almost like 90, 95, 99% of the time I'm using a trailer hook on the back of a spinner bait or a buzz bait. The only time I won't is when the cover's so heavy I can't get it through and I'm hanging up too much. Or when I'm practicing for a tournament, I don't always want to hook every fish super deep or catch them all in a tournament. Or, you know, fun fishing, they're eating it good, I might skip the trailer hook overall. But most of the time, I'm fishing a trailer hook on these baits. You convert so many more strikes when they're not eating the bait real good, when they're not swallowing it, when they're short striking it, you're just going to catch way more fish with a trailer hook on these baits. Most trailer hooks you're going to buy come with a little rubber band over the eye that's supposed to help position the hook and keep it from falling off. So you slip it over the eye of the hook, slide it on your bait. Pass the rubber band, which in theory, it does a nice job of holding this treble hook right where you want it. But when you're fishing and casting, a lot of time it gets turned, it gets kinked. Sometimes it can block the fish from hitting it because it's too rigid. It's not ideal. Now, this is still way better than not having a trailer hook at all, but let me show you some better ways. The reason you need a keeper of some kind is that this is designed to slide over the barb of your hook easily. So if you don't have it on there, the hook can just come off super easy. One of the other things you can do is just use this rubber band in front of it to keep it from, but that's not super secure. I've had that fall off and I've lost fish where that hasn't held. So that is an okay option, but not the greatest when every bite really counts and you don't want to lose a fish of a lifetime or a big fish in a tournament to that. So here is a cheap way you can make your own that will never come off, super secure, and you can make them any color you want. So you get yourself a hole punch from Amazon or the local store for a few bucks. I'll put a link down below if you don't know what these are, uh, or if you want to order one off Amazon. You grab a butter top lid, a cheese lid, whatever. We have all these kinds of lids from things we buy from the grocery store. Just make sure you finish the food or the butter before you use it, otherwise somebody in your family might be pissed. You probably need to trim a little bit of the excess of the lid off to get to the flat area where you can punch it. Then you grab the punch and get the punch in different shapes that you want. And it collects them in this little holder. After a few minutes of punching, you'll have a pile of little bait keepers that will last you a long time. Doing this right now in the off season to make sure I got all my little trailer cup keepers for the entire year. One last thing you want to do, grab yourself some kind of nail or sharp pointed object and a hammer. Now, you don't want to do this on the kitchen counter or your nice end tables or you might get in a whole lot of trouble. Grab yourself a block of wood, a nail and a hammer, and create little starter holes in all these little tabs that will make it go on the hook way easier. What you'll end up with is a little disc with a little tiny hole in it that you put the hook through. Once you have your trailer hook slid over there, you just put this little bait keeper on there. With that starter hole, it slides right past the barb. Now you have a free swinging trailer hook that when you're pulling it through the water, it'll go right where you want it. If a fish comes up and hits it, it will collapse out of the way when they're really eating it, when they're short striking it, you'll catch them every time. Um, that little plastic clip won't let that thing come off over the barb. You'll keep them hooked. You can use clear ones. You can use black ones. You can use ones that match your baits. I like to have like little red ones, which just gives them another little spot, like a, a little target area or a, a kill spot on the bait, something for them to shoot for on the bait, just like a little red hook. Um, so that's what I do. But anything will work. Up to you, use your imagination, whatever gives you the most confidence, that's the color or style for you to pick. This hat can be used on chatter baits, spinner baits, buzz baits, or anything you would put a trailer hook on. If you enjoy bait hacks like these, consider subscribing to the channel, hit that button below and hit the bell notification buttons. And if you want to continue to learn how to catch more big bass and suck less, watch this video right here next.